Our next caller is Blake from BC. Hey, Blake, uh, how can we help you? Hey, guys. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. Um, I just had a question about uh, priming um, and more specifically, I guess, priming during a heavy phase. Um, I'm in a heavy phase right now and the rest are a little bit longer, two to three minutes. Um, and I was just wondering about, you know, priming in between sets. Mm. I love this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, the, first off, priming before your workouts, we're going to get the most benefit, right. but there's definitely benefit for priming in between sets, uh, especially if it's something that you are challenged with. So let's say it's squats, you do your normal priming before your squats, then you do your first light set. And then in between uh, that set and the next set, you do some more priming and then do another set. Um, When I do this, my mobility, it just gets better faster Mm -hmm. in the workout, especially with those challenging exercises. Yeah, I think if you use it as a corrective method, I think that, you know, if there's something that uh, isn't responding the way you want in your workouts, I think it's a great uh, way to utilize priming uh, in between sets if you have a long rest period. Um, you know, to get that muscle to sort of uh, uh, be more active and involved uh, in these gross motor movements. But um, yeah, like Sal said, it, honestly, like priming before the workout is going to give you the most bang for your buck. I, I like uh, doing this. I mean, un- unless it's a day where I'm, you know, going after a PR or I'm challenging my strength where I'm like, okay, I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm going to move more weight than I've moved in a long time today. And I'm going to get after it. Then I want to be, once I get primed, I want to be focused on my squatting or deadlifting or whatever it is that we're talking about. Uh, and I don't really want to mess too much in between sets just because I want to conserve that energy for everything I can give to to the lift. Now, if it's just, you know, I'm in a strength phase of lifting and, and I'm also trying to improve my squat or deadlift, whatever movement we're talking about, I love to do a set, then go over and do a little bit of ankle mobility, then do the next set and, and then assess how much that improved it and then go over and do some hip stuff after the third set. And I love to do that so I can kind of measure like what what's helping my, my movement patterns the most. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with doing that. Now, of course, again, if you are... In a, in a workout where today I'm gonna re, I'm gonna be testing my my max strength, uh, then conserving energy in between sets is is ideal. But for the everyday lift, and even if you're in a strength phase, I I, I actually really enjoy priming in between sets like this. Blake, are you using uh, Maps Prime uh, to identify where you need to prime? Um, I've I've taken a peek at it. My brother actually does own the program, so so I've taken a peek at it. But a lot of it's just from watching um, your guys's content on you know Instagram and YouTube and that sort of thing, and just kind of picking up tips here and there. Okay, mm-hmm. so what areas uh, for you are you noticing that you need to work on or prime? What are you doing to prime, and then have you noticed any benefit from doing those things? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, the the two main exercises that I've been focusing on kind of messing around with with priming in between sets is the squat and the deadlift, obviously. Um, I found that um, the low back and the, the hip hinge um, is where, you know, I, I kind of feel a bit of a flare up if I'm not careful. So um, just, just taking the tips from you guys, throwing some 90-90s in there um, in between. Um, a little bit of combat stretch, um, you know, just kind of the stuff that you guys talk about quite a bit. I've been trying to, you know, throw that in between. Um, not every set, um, but here and there. Um, and you know what? It's, some days it seems to really help. Some days I think the difference is negligible, but um, that's kind of why I wanted your perspective on it. Okay, so here's so here's a, something to, important to understand about priming is it can be very individual. Okay, so in MAPS Prime, there's a compass test uh, that you take and it can help you identify you know areas of your body and then there's a lot of movements and we have free webinars um, you know maps prime pro.com is one that's for Ma- prime pro and then we have the uh, maps prime webinar for prime but they don't cover near not even one tenth of the movements that we have so what we're going to do is we're going to send you maps prime for free and what I want you to do is take the compass test because you may find movements that are better for your body because you should see and feel improvements when you do the right movements for your body each time you do them. You should, you sh- shouldn't feel negligible. It should feel like it's doing something. Yeah. Not only that, Blake, but have, have you actually done a session where you dedicate a solid, like 15, 20 minutes of priming before your lift, or have you just kind of messed around with a few movements here and there? Or have you actually like dedicated a solid 15, 20 minutes before your lift to priming? I have, but not consistent. You know, it's, it's really when I feel, you know, when I'm feeling tight those days, then I, then I might take, you know, 10 or 15 before, 
uh, a workout and, and, you know, go to town, but not, not as consistently as I probably should be. Okay. Well try that next time. So you're, you, Doug's going to hook you up with access to maps prime, do the compass test, do what it prescribes and recommends. Um, and you'll very, very likely notice a, a big difference. Man, that's fantastic. Thanks so much, guys. No problem. I'm glad people are at least talking about priming, but it's, you know, it's something that you have to put focus on, like yeah. your workout, you know, you just do it a little here and there. You'll get a little bit of benefit, but it's not the it's same It's cool thing. to see it being a lexicon, just like mobility and things yeah. like that. Like people are using it now. Yeah. Cause it's so beneficial. I just wish more people would actually apply it in their workouts. Well, I love this question because, um, again, unless I'm chasing a PR or, you know, pushing my limits, mm -hmm. I actually enjoy priming this way. I have my little, you know, routine that I do before I always lift, but then I love to go between sets because I feel like when you do that, you have something you can kind of measure right then and there versus, you know, okay, it's great. It is great. It is ideal to spend 15, 20 minutes before the workout, but sometimes you, you can't make that connection of like, oh, that's what made that squat mm -hmm. feel so much better uh -huh. was doing that versus I just did a set, felt a little wonky or I didn't feel, I felt it, felt it in my ankles or I felt yeah. something cold. It my, translates my, right, right. Right, exactly. It, I can, then I can go back and then do it. I feel like people make a better connection to how mm -hmm. it's helping you. So I love to integrate it into the workout. Like yeah. This. And truth be told, uh, one of the big differences between a warm up and priming is the individual component. I mean, mm -hmm. so that's why mm -hmm. Maps Prime is not a, a program that just has a bunch of priming movements that you pick from. There's a compass test that tells you which one to do for your body uh, because general warm ups are okay, individualized priming sessions, totally, totally different ballgame. No, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, to, to his point of what he talked about, like he's just kind of integrated the thing. We talk a lot about what's helped us. Right. Yeah. Right. So I talk uh, at nauseum, the 90, 90 in combat stretch, because that was a game changer for me. Mm -hmm. So you never know. You go through that. I mean, that thing's got over 50 something different, uh, you know, priming exercises in it. You may find that wall circles ends up changing your life or something right. else. So it's like, I, I love that you brought that up because we, we tend to talk about a handful of, priming movements that have worked so well for us, it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to translate exactly. to you the same.